you probably already heard this, but always, always download the latest version of Auto Upgrade from my Oracle support. We push out new versions as often as we can. You can use Auto Upgrade with the version option to show the version of Auto Upgrade that you're using. And you can compare that with the information you can find about the latest release on my Oracle support to see whether or not you should upgrade the auto upgrade that you're using. When you've done that, when you downloaded or ensured that you're using the latest version, you create a configuration file. If you don't want to create your own, you can create a sample configuration file and use that as a basis for your configuration file. Next, you analyze the database to ensure that it's eligible for upgrade. When the analyze is complete, you can find a summary report either in HTML or in a log file. The log file might look something like this. And in the bottom, you can see that this specific database is ready to be upgraded. There's nothing that you have to do yourself. You can also look in the HTML file to find similar information. And it even has a link to a pre-check report, which contains a lot more information about the database. In the upper part, we have some overall information about the database, including which components are installed. In the lower left section, we have information about each of the containers. We have all the issues grouped by severity. And in the lower right corner, you can get all the details about all the findings that we made in your database. All our log files, all our reports comes in HTML, text, and JSON. And some of them even also come in XML. Now it's time to upgrade the database and you use the deploy mode for that. Once you've started auto upgrade, just sit back and relax, have a cup of coffee or tea and wait. Or you can monitor it. Use the LSJ command to list the current jobs. If you want even more details, you can use the status command, which has so much information that it fits on two pages. After a while, the job completes, the upgrade has been made, now you can use your database. All the post upgrade checks has been executed by auto upgrade, there's really not much more for you to do. If you want to start auto upgrade in an easier way, you can do it in a one-liner by supplying some of the information as environment variables. In addition to that, you can use the config values option to put in all the parameters that you would normally put in your config file. You can specify them on the command line using the config values option.